Hey guys and welcome to my channel or Irish family. My name is Karen. Welcome back or welcome for the first time. Um, so today I want to talk a bit about our cleaning routine since we moved into this new house. So if you remember, if you cast your mind all the way back to like June, um, July, um, I started to do the fly lady cleaning technique and um, I was absolutely loving it. It fitted in perfectly into my routine. So in order not to change that and to definitely keep up with stuff that's happening around the house, now that the house is bigger than our apartment, I've stayed with the fly lady. So when we moved in, before we moved in, should I say, I got rid of lots of things. Um, I donated some, lots of stuff went into the bin because it just wasn't worth anything. It just wasn't usable anymore. Um, and I sold one or two things as well. Um, so we got rid of a good amount of our stuff. So that meant when it came to moving day, we didn't have half of the amount of stuff that we would have had, which absolutely suited us so, so much. So um, we decided when we moved in here to, to um, or I decided to stay with the fly lady cleaning technique. So basically that is like a zone cleaning. Each week has a zone that you work on for 15 minutes per day for five days or four days, it depends. Um, and then another day you kind of just do a very surface clean of the main areas so it all looks presentable. And I have loads of different videos about this and um, I have a whole playlist as well if you're interested and it will all be in the apartment because I haven't actually got around to recording a cleaning video here yet. Um, but because this house has different zones than I was used to, I had to really sit down and think about um, where some of these rooms fit into the zones that the fly lady has um and how i'm going to adapt it that it suits me so we moved in here on the 4th of august and i think by the 10th of august i started to do the fly lady cleaning technique i was doing from around the 6th or 7th i was doing the swish and swipe every single day and um, which is your bathrooms that you wipe down and you swish your bath your toilet so i was doing that every single day and then i just moved into zone cleaning um so we have done a whole we've come a whole round and um, so i started with the bathrooms when i when i decided to go back into it it was on bathrooms week and um, so i've done the bathrooms i've done the bedrooms i have done the living room and dining room the entry in the hallway the kitchen last week was the bathrooms and this week is the bedrooms okay but i have wrote it down literally it was one of the first things i done when i got here was figure out how i'm going to clean it because there are more rooms and more space than our apartment so zone one is your entry and hallway and for me in the apartment the entry and hallway was literally just a hallway <laughs> Um, but here we have a front porch that's outside. We have our front door, our hallway, um, and I'm also going to include um, the stairs and the little bit of the hallway landing upstairs, okay? And the hot press. So when you come in our door, so we have a front porch, okay? So you come in the door and it's that hallway there. We have a bathroom there as well, okay? So let's start that again because I got it totally wrong, okay? So, when you come in the door, we have uh, the porch that's outside, okay? Then, when you proceed up the hallway, we have the under the stairs bathroom, that is a part of this zone. Then, you go up the stairs, the stairs is included, um, and then there's a small bit of like a hallway that's connecting the um, bedrooms, but there we have something called a hot press, which is basically where or heating or immersion is um, and you can store towels and bedding and all that sort of stuff like a laundry closet and um, so that's all included in that area so we have the front porch the front door the downstairs hallway the downstairs under the toilet the hot press upstairs the stairs and the landing upstairs so that sounds like a lawful lot but realistically it's not because they're all only small areas um, and it went okay the first time we've only done it one time since I've been here so far um, and 
doing the front porch was the hardest because it had lots of years of dirt just built up because who really cleans outside their front porch um so to scrub that away did take me a good hour so i definitely went over my time frame for and um, the fly lady but doing the bathroom um i had already done it a number of times because um there was a bit of a smell in it um and I'm pretty convinced it's still there. Um, so I'd be, I was scrubbing it nearly every single day when we first moved in just to try and get that smell off it. Um, so yeah, so that was that, that zone one. Okay, so zone two is the kitchen and that's just exactly what it is. It's just our kitchen. So the oven and all that sort of stuff, not our fridge, okay? Um, so the kitchen is just that area, like literally the inside of the island um, when you walk in. That's that zone. So that's zone two of the kitchen. Zone three is the bathrooms. Okay, so here um, we have three bathrooms. So the one under the stairs gets done in zone one. So that leaves us with two bathrooms. So the main bathroom um, with the bat and then we also have the ensuite bathroom. So those are both included in zone three. Okay, so I do Ava's bathroom, we call that Ava's bathroom, and then my bathroom. <laughs> um, so we do those in zone three. This week we're into zone four, okay? So zone four is the upstairs bedrooms. So it's our bedroom, Ava's bedroom, and then I'm having an office. So that bedroom, that third smaller bedroom is turning into my office where I can do my Etsy and my business stuff. Um, so we only cleared it out at the weekend. There are still some boxes left in there um, because one of the units in Ava's room is going to move into my room and then I can sort it out a little bit better and organize it. But this week we're going to do my bedroom and Ava's bedroom and then the office probably at the weekend um, and that's just because we need to get things sorted um, and once it's kind of sorted and decluttered and organized and all that sort of stuff it will just be very snappy it'll be really really easy like it is with the kitchen and like it is with the bathrooms just really simple in you do your list and end of and then the fifth and final zone um, that we are having is our living room and our dining room. So where I'm sitting now, so this is obviously the living room. Okay, so everywhere you can see in here, and then also our dining room, the fridge, and the wash machine, okay? Because that's kind of included on the other side of the counter of the kitchen. Um, so because there is big cleans in the kitchen like cleaning out all the presses and cleaning out the oven and um, There's could be grease involved and all that sort of stuff I that's why I haven't included the fridge and the washing machine in there because I would run out of time in that zone so including it in the living room the dining room which is basically like a table and chairs um including it in that zone makes more sense because of the fact that i'll have more time on that week to do it now sometimes zone five doesn't get its own full week um, and in that cases i need to um, pick and choose what's important to do so obviously the fridge and the washing machine are very important to do and then the living room and um, you know so i kind of have to pick and choose what i'm what i'm supposed to do um, but that's basically where we're going if that didn't confuse you all because it confused me while I was talking about it. So we have done one full routine of it. You know, we've gone through one full of the stages and now we're going on to our second rotation of it. Um, it's going great so far. Every single day I have a set number of things that I have to do and I cover this in a previous video as well where I run through the checklist that I got from The Secret Slob and she's now currently doing a series on her YouTube. Um, I think she's up to day 22 now um, and she's like getting herself back into a routine and that's great to follow um, if you're not already in a routine. But for me, every single day, there is stuff that I do. The first thing I do most days in the morning time, um, before I even dress Ava, is put on a load of laundry. Um, so that means that it will be ready before um, 
it only takes it depends on what it is if it's just clothing it will be ready an hour later or sometimes even 40 minutes later and I can hang it out if there if the weather is good and if not I put it on the clothes horse we don't like the dryer because we have a washer dryer the drying takes forever so it's just a waste of energy for us we'd much rather have it hanging outside or on our clothes horse and it will just drive that dry that way so um that's something that i do every single day another thing we do every single day is washing up the dishes there is a constant flow of dishes all the time if you know us in our apartment we had a wash a dishwasher and here we have a dishwasher but we rarely ever use them um but i think it is going to be something that we start doing um and just putting it on in the evening time um or at night time just because the flow the constant flow of dishes is just madness i spend the majority of my day constantly constantly washing the dishes the only thing about it the only drawback for us and why we do kind of keep continuing to um wash by hand the dishes is because when i was minimizing all of our stuff like ages ago i did minimize the amount of plates the amount of cups and glasses and all that sort of stuff that we have so we run through them pretty much every single day so if we don't wash them in the moment we're not going to have any glasses <laughs> they're going to be sitting inside the dishwasher all day um so and i don't want to buy more because it's just not needed and we had cases where you know we've had people over to the house um, and there was an extra like six to eight people um, and we do have enough glasses and cups for them um, but you know just throughout the day if you drink like two cups of tea and then you get glasses we kind of run out so that's why washing by hand makes sense for those but I think for the rest of the things we're going to just start using the dishwasher because I am absolutely sick of hand washing dishes it's just not good <clears throat> swish and swiping so i rotate the toilets the bottom toilet here the downstairs toilet always gets done because that's the one that's viewed by guests if they come into our house and then every other day i switch between the two upstairs um if i have a good amount of time i just do both of them um i just do all the, the three toilets on the same day and um, because it just doesn't take long at all but generally i would rotate between the two toilets upstairs and the one here gets done every single time um, something else that we need to do every single day that's not generally on the fly lady technique is um, Hoover or I have this kind of like microfiber kind of shimmy thing, shimmy brush. Um, these floors because we have porcelain tiles and they are absolutely terrible. Like you can see every single speck of dirt on them. And these floorboards as well, they show a lot of... Um, a lot of dirt <laughs> so we have to do that every single day in the living room the kitchen and the dining area because just with the crumbs and Ava it just leaves crumbs everywhere like that girl all she has to do is pick up a piece of bread and it'd be crumbed everywhere so um so they are the stuff that we do and then I just make sure that I wipe down the sink every day as well. Now some days it's not shining, um, it's hard to get that sink shining, I don't know what it is. In the apartment I could shine my sink really really well so I think what I'm going to have to do is get some baby oil and then oil it and then it will be shiny. Um, yeah so and then we do five minute rescues like she tells you to do and then obviously every day we do a 15 minute um, speed clean now lots of people say why doesn't Robert do why doesn't this and why doesn't Robert do that and um, Robert goes to work at eight o'clock in the morning and he comes home at quarter to seven every night but the time he comes home the last thing he wants to do is clean but he does do the dishes every night um, so, you know, he does do that and then obviously if he sees a whole pile of crap for, on the ground, like loads of crumbs, he will obviously get off his bum and do that. But generally, by the time he gets home, he's playing with Ava um, and then it's time for bed and then we're just, you know, settling down to relax for the rest of the night. Um, so he does do stuff on the weekends and he does things unprompted as well. I always get people questioning that. Um, but you know I am at home all day and I myself have taken on all of these tasks 
you know, Robert will do stuff if I ask him to do stuff and he will also do stuff himself if he just sees that it needs to be done. But you know, in general, on most days, he goes to work at eight o'clock in the morning and he doesn't get home for nearly 11 hours later. So, you know, last thing anybody wants to do after working for 11 hours is come home to clean their house, right? Um, so that's it. They are the zones that were, that's what we're doing. So now my question for you guys is what do you want me to do regards cleaning videos? Now I'm just talking about cleaning. I'm not talking about organizing. I'm just talking about cleaning. Do you want me to show some of my 15 minute speed cleans, zone cleans that I do every day? Or how would you like me to do it? Um, let me know down in the comments. Organizing is going to be its own thing. Um, because we do have to organize some stuff here in the house and try to figure out ways that it will work best for us um, So there will be some videos about like organizing decluttering and cleaning and um, but I'm just talking about the zone cleans So let me know down in the comments how you would like it um, To be done is it you want it the same as I did it in the apartment and just have like 15 minute zone cleans and um, like one per week um, or would you like me to, how do you do it? How do you want me to do it? Let me know. Do you want me to share my list that I am doing, my zone cleaning list? Because I have wrote them down here and I kind of like tick them off every time that I get through one. Um, yeah, let me know your opinions. Let me know what you think. And um, I hope I didn't confuse you with that because I think I confused myself, especially with zone one. <laughs> And so that's it guys, that is today's video. I hope that you've enjoyed it. If you did, please did, if you did, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, it really does help out my channel when people thumbs up, subscribe, and then also hit the little bell button. Um, it really does wonderful things for my channel and it's free for you to do. You know, you're getting free entertainment by watching my lovely mug. Um, and I would love if you could just like and comment and subscribe. It would mean the world to me. So that's it guys, thanks so much for watching, I'll talk to you soon, bye.